Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, I'm Caitlin. I thought I would start a week of my life because it's Tuesday right now and it's never too late to start a week of my life because I feel like Mondays are pretty busy anyway. I just like do a lot of computer work and I actually don't have a lot of computer work this week because I got all caught up and it's the last week of the month, which is nice. I've talked to you guys about this before, but I feel like the last week of the month I usually have zero work because it's really just like posting everything and I get everything in before the last week because there's a lot of deadlines with my job. Like you have to get a lot of stuff in and posted before the end of the month, but it takes a little bit for content to get approved. Therefore, you have to get it in a little bit before the end of the month so that it can all go live by the end of the month. So the last week is pretty chill for me and I feel like I'm actually a little bit more productive when I don't have a lot of work stuff to do because I feel like the pressure of having a bunch of computer work just keeps me to my house and I don't know, I just feel like the last week of the month is always the most fun. So I thought I would do a week in my life, especially because the last video I did was a day in my life. My goal this week is to film like morning to night every single day and yeah. I vlogged a little bit this morning. You guys saw I woke up. I had my coffee. I actually woke up at like 5.45 today because Hunter had a meeting. And once his alarm went off, I was just already up. And I feel like whenever my alarm goes off, I like can't go back to bed. So I'm feeling a little bit tired today. But I had a coffee. I actually journaled. I say actually because I feel like I haven't been as consistent with journaling. But I really like doing it in the morning. I feel like sometimes I'll remember and just do like my five minute journal at night. But I really just like wanted to sit down and I made it a goal to write two full pages. It didn't really matter what I was writing. Like this is actually something that I would recommend for anybody who's like trying to get into journaling. Literally just put your pen to paper and make a goal of how many pages you want to fill up and literally don't stop writing until you get to that point. It doesn't really matter what you're writing. Like it could be any thought popping in your head, write it down and it's just kind of like a mind dump and it really feels good. And then after I did that, I was like, well, I'm on a roll. I woke up at 5.45, I journaled, made my coffee. So I decided to come to the beach, so that's why we're here right now, and I've been at 10.45. I was actually supposed to go to Pilates with my friend, but she woke up and she didn't feel very good. So I'm just going to go to spin, which I'm actually, I mean, I'm not excited that I'm not going to Pilates with my friend, but I am excited to go to spin because I love when I go at 10.45 because I feel like my body is like way more awake. Like Sometimes when I go at 7, I feel like I'm like chasing the beat because I literally have no energy in my legs because they're still asleep so yeah it's gonna be a good day I think I'm actually gonna go get another coffee on my way to the gym I actually I made a smoothie this morning as you guys saw I still have a little bit left I can tell that my voice is kind of scratchy I'm hoping it's just like my voice is being lost because I also went to the hair salon yesterday you guys can't tell I got my hair done I went to the hair salon yesterday I just got a touch up of what I normally do and then I chopped a little bit, like two inches off of the ends. Hopefully I just feel good. Actually, I might have a vitamin C packet. I have a vitamin C in my bag. I'm gonna take this. Mm. Okay, I just pulled up to a place called Milligram. It's really good coffee. They have like pistachio milk, which is really interesting and good, but I'm just gonna grab a coffee really quick and then we're gonna go to spin. Hi. Hi. Good. Could I do an iced vanilla latte yeah. with oat milk to go? To go, absolutely. Okay, back from spin. I realize I never shared the outfit that I was wearing today. Also, the fact that I have laundry going, it's kind of loud, but the leggings that I'm wearing are from Sit Active. Same with the sports bra underneath. This is definitely like my favorite outfit combo. I always wear a workout set and then just some sort of long sleeve over top. And then I also wore these New Balances on my walk at the beach today because they're the best. And I actually just got these from Dick's Sporting Goods so they should still be in stock. But obviously at Spin I wore my Spin shoes. Those are the teams that I wear from Amazon. But yeah, I'll link all this entire outfit down below for you guys. Do you want to tell everybody hi? Ooh, you know what I actually will do right now before I take a shower? I'm gonna use my massage gun. I was using this last night. This is the best thing that I own. Oh my god, it feels so good. Especially after spin. It's a little bit later, I just took a shower. I'm trying to drink as much water as I possibly can because I actually started to feel kind of like run down in the spin class that I went to today. Like, I don't know, I just felt a little bit more tired than normal. So, happy I had that vitamin C this morning. I'm actually gonna also put some electrolytes in my water. It's been a while actually since I've been drinking my electrolytes, but I actually ordered some lunch. I just don't have anything in the fridge, don't really feel like cooking, so I got this really good 
veggie tray it has hummus i ate a little bit on my drive home the best part about this is there's olives it's like my favorite food yum and then my other favorite thing to get from there it's called goop kitchen it is these curry wraps they're so good they have bless you so good this is my favorite lunch I actually wanted to share these with you guys because I feel like some of you will really benefit from this. These are the Gem Bite Daily Multivitamins. I just love all the vitamins in these. We have pumpkin seeds, which have zinc in them. We have turmeric, which is good for your gut health, skin health. Black pepper that helps with absorption. Prebiotics that are good for the gut health. Probiotics, which are good for digestion. They have quinoa, which is B vitamins. We have stone fruit and dates, which is really good for your metabolic support. Chickpeas, which have vitamin K2. Ginger and spices, which is good for your brain and skin health. Algae, which has vitamin D3. And then we also have some citrus and beta-glucan for immune support. You guys know I have a holistic approach to wellness and it's really exciting for me to find companies like Gem that I just fully trust and support. So that's why I wanted to bring them to you guys. They actually gave me a discount code, which is going to be Caitlin, and you actually get 50% off your first month. And the reason why I actually found them is because I was looking for a really simple vitamin that Hunter could take every single day, something that he wouldn't have to take multiple pills, multiple powders. And this is a company that is super holistic. They focus on real foods. They focus on real results, science-backed information. And the reason I really, really like these is because they're actually enjoyable to eat. I feel like it's something that you don't really like hate taking every day, and obviously talk to your doctors, but supplements have become such an important part of my routine. And even though I got these for Hunter, because they would be super easy for him, obviously I was like, okay, well, I want to simplify my routine as well. And some of the results I've been feeling is having that glowy skin feeling, also having less brain fog. I feel like my gut health, my digestion has been feeling better. And overall, I just have more energy. I feel like my mood is better. All of those ingredients and all of the vitamins in each of those ingredients that I was talking about have a role in that. And I feel like it's really, really nice knowing that these are genuinely actually doing something for my health. So if you guys want to check them out, I'm going to link them down below. Again, thank you, Jen, for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to go finish up a couple hours of work on my computer, just some editing, really easy stuff. Like I said, I don't have that much work this week earlier today, so I will pick the camera up when I get ready to probably go get my nails done later. Good morning, you guys. I just woke up with my coffee. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so tired today. And we actually went to bed pretty early last night. Sometimes I feel like when I get longer sleep, I just like wake up tired. It's 6.15. I only got up because Hunter had a meeting as well. And also I'm gonna go meet Delaney at 8.30 at the gym. I wanted to get some work done before we left. <laughs> I love how sleepy you are. But I actually slept in legging curls last night and it kind of turned out good. I feel like I did it a little messy last night, but I used the one from Amazon that just goes around your head. And it's actually nice because then like I can just put my hair up in a claw clip and then later on today it'll probably be even better because it'll fall a little bit at my workout, but I'm filming a little morning in my life TikTok today. We'll see what else we do today. I keep saying I need to get my nails done, so we'll see when I actually do that. PJs today are from Skims, and then these are from Aritzia Butter. Usually I don't like to sleep in like any sort of leggings, but these are like the only ones I will, and they're yoga pants, so they're comfy, and then this is just from Amazon. Whenever I'm filming, I just have this tripod that is pretty small and I just bring it everywhere with me throughout the morning and I pretty much have like my routine of what I film just so that I can go quick but usually I'll change to assert this. I'll change out my PJs usually. Oh, nothing feels better than stretching in the morning. Oh, I'm actually so tired. Whenever you're filming something like this, I recommend trying like, if you're gonna do like an intro or something, try like two different poses just in case when you go to film like, something's off with it like sometimes i'll be like doing some sort of pose and then like my hair is like this on this side but it's like fine on this side so you never really know okay i actually made a mistake i forgot to film in 0.5 anytime it's like close to me i'll just do 0.5 and then i'll wipe off the camera and make sure it's clear if you follow me on instagram you definitely know this is my setup but i'll usually film myself in the mirror when i do any of my skincare and i also like to like kind of be loud when i do it Make sure that like nothing's going on in the background, like I don't have music playing or the TV on outside. And I'll just do my skincare right here. And it's really quick, like I'll film exactly what I'm doing for the morning. 
So sometimes it only takes me like the same amount of time it would actually take me to get ready. But yeah, that's pretty much my TikTok routine. And then today I'm gonna do a voiceover. So I'm trying to kind of think in my head like what I would say while I'm doing this so that I can like keep the clips as long as they need to be. But sometimes that changes. <laughs> Just got back from the gym, ended up making one of my favorite breakfasts right now. I just like doing avocado toast with microgreens on top and then hard boiled eggs. And I actually just buy these hard boiled eggs from the store already made because I'm lazy, but they're the Vital Farms one. They're really good. But I'm gonna do a little bit of work on my computer. I was actually just FaceTiming Katie. It's always nice catching up with her. And we actually FaceTime a lot throughout the week, but I'm gonna eat this, do some work, and then we're gonna get ready for the day. A little bit later, I actually got ready for my day. I'll show you guys my outfit in a second, but I've just been sitting here. I airdropped all the videos from my TikTok this morning to my computer. I literally just got ready, so it's only like 10.15 right now, and I'm probably just gonna edit them on my computer, send them back to my phone. This is what I typically do, just because I feel like TikTok and Instagram glitch all the time, and like sometimes I will lose my videos. And after doing this for a couple of years, I feel like I've just learned that doing it on my computer, I use Final Cut Pro, is the easiest thing. I'll send it to myself and then I do the voiceover on TikTok because it actually sounds so much better than if you just record your own voice and then like send it to your computer and put that voiceover on. The voiceover button on TikTok sounds the best. So I'll do that. I'll save it from TikTok before I post it because it doesn't save with the watermark. And then I post on TikTok and I post on Instagram. I like to post them at the exact same time on both platforms because I feel like if I post it first on TikTok and then like a day or two later I post on Instagram, that to me, can be kind of like annoying as the viewer like to just keep seeing the same videos over and over i like to post whatever video i film that day on both platforms unless i am working with the brand and i have to submit it to the brand wait but yeah that's pretty much my morning routine i'm gonna post that video right now or at least like put it in my draft and post it around like two ish because i feel like the algorithm is good at two because some people are on like their lunch break and stuff or finishing their work day but that's what's going on. I swear, something I do a little too often is forget my jacket when we come places, but like there's always a breeze. So I don't know why I don't learn my lesson every single time. But we're both exhausted today. We've been up since six, which isn't that early, but I feel like we went to bed at like one or 1.30 yesterday. I'm actually curious like what time you guys go to bed because every time we meet someone, they're like, you guys go to bed at one? Like, I think that's so late. We're like, oh. <laughs> We used to go to bed at like 4 a.m. Like one is nothing, but it's like every single night for us. So I'm actually really curious what time you guys go to bed, but we made it here. This feels raw, sneakers on the beach. This feels raw, sneakers on the beach. We're in the bedroom and I thought I would show you guys some jeans that I picked up and a top from Zara today. I'll try and find everything and link it down below but i thought maybe you guys would like these because i feel like zara always has really good jeans and they're always a knockoff for more affordable options that kind of look like designer jeans these are really really cute this kind of look like the kate danielle jeans the kate danielle jeans are just like really cute jeans that have gone viral on tiktok that kind of have a stretch to them so they're really form-fitting at the front but they still are wide leg or like straight leg really really like these happy i got them i didn't try them on in the store but i feel like zara jeans always fit perfect like whenever i buy jeans i don't even have to try them on i feel like all of their sizes like their jeans all fit the same so if you've ever tried on a pair of zara jeans or you have a pair of zara jeans just get your normal size and 10 times out of 10 they're gonna fit really good oh my goodness i love these I feel like I had these jeans before, but all of the jeans that I have in my closet, I swear, don't go all the way down to the floor. And I feel like that just makes them look way more cheap and it makes the outfit look weird. Like it just doesn't like fit me right. So I really wanted a pair of jeans that actually touch the floor, especially if I wear heels. So I really, really like these. I will try and find the exact like, number. I know Zara does it by like a number system and link these down below in case you've been looking for some good jeans. And then I also got this white top. I would definitely just wear sticky boobs under it, but cute. I feel like I should have sized up, so I'll probably actually return this and get it in a little bit bigger of a size, but like envision it with nothing underneath. I think it's really pretty, especially for like the summertime with shorts 
really liked that so okay we're all showered up i'm actually about to do my skincare so i thought i would just chat with you guys and we also had dinner i had egg roll in a bowl literally one of my favorite recipes in the entire world hunter was like can we make this every single night it's so easy too i don't know why we always forget about it but i am putting on my retinol right now i had such a good day today i literally cannot explain how excited i am for future projects first i got the ball moving on a subscription-based website that i've been really wanting to actually do for the past two years obviously i got my cpt a year ago and all i've been doing legit this past year is staying up till 2 a.m every single night trying to learn more not that i don't already know so much from getting my cpt but just all i want to do is learn more about fitness and i was just talking to my best friend katie today we actually both agree that we've found the jackpot that's the way we were explaining it by the way i'm going to put this drunk elephant night cream on after my retinol because retinol can really dry out your face and i only do like two pumps of retinol every other night but yeah katie and i were talking on facetime we we're like we literally hit the workout jackpot because recently she started going to pilates and i've been doing pilates for a year and a half so most of the time i'm doing mat pilates which is actually a combination of bar at the gym that I go to and then I'll go to Escape Pilates which is Reformer Pilates and then I also do Form which is an online website. They're led by Sammy Clark so I've been doing her workouts for probably like two and a half years and I just love the way that mixing low intensity workouts with high intensity workouts feel like legit nothing feels better because you're getting that strength training and then you're also getting that slow flow of Pilates where you're working like the tiny muscles. I don't have my Pilates certification. It actually takes so long. It's like a whole new world. And it's something that I haven't been passionate about my whole life, honestly. I'm just recently becoming passionate about Pilates. Actually, somebody made a TikTok the other day. I need to find what the TikTok was, but I literally started tearing up. I took a picture of myself because I was on a walk. Anyway, somebody posted on TikTok that they're watching the Girl Talk video. And it pretty much just says, I love Caitlyn so much. She's genuinely the only wellness influencer I will listen to because she's so real and authentic. She never makes you feel like you need to start or stop doing something to be healthy. I actually adore her. Literally, I could die just reading that because I feel like I really, really needed somebody like what I post on social media, which sounds kind of like cringe to say that about yourself, but... That's honestly why I started social media is because I feel like I was watching a lot of stuff on social media and not to say that anyone is at fault for things that I tried in the wellness world and like the fitness world, but I feel like I'd watch social media and no matter what that person was saying, I would believe it. And it didn't really matter if it was backed by science, it didn't matter if that person was certified. It didn't really matter anything other than the fact that that person was saying that they did it and that it felt good to them. And I felt like there was only one way to wellness and as I've learned and genuinely dove into nutrition and fitness and what it means to be fully focusing on yourself and being kind to yourself, it made me realize so much and I just wanted so badly to share it and just be somebody to tell everybody like there's not one way to wellness. I love that they said that I promote that you don't have to start something or stop something to live a healthy lifestyle. And I think that that's so true and I've never really like said it like that and that lit and even like deeper spark in me to want to keep sharing and just keep talking and sharing my experiences with wellness and also now that I am a CPT being able to help you guys and maybe even bringing other people along who I feel like they teach me a lot about certain things and being able to collaborate and bring you guys something that would actually help me if I was at the beginning of my fitness journey or even just now. <sighs> so anyway, that's all the skincare that I do every single night. I literally do retinol every other night and then i also do this peptide cream because it's really thick and good for your skin i was breaking out a little bit just because i was using the spin towels and like i'm not gonna lie i still use them i actually used one the other day and i started breaking out so i know exactly what it is and then also i feel like i'm breaking out because <sighs> whenever i do a slick ponytail i wear this like glue stick in my hair and then i sleep with dirty hair it gets on my pillow I move around, my pillow wipes onto my face, and then I always break out. I'm gonna go to bed because I'm extremely tired, and it has been a long day. Good morning, I thought I would continue on for like at least half of the day today. I might actually get this video up tonight, but I just thought it'd be fun to show you guys like the random parts of my life. I feel like I get in a routine of what I show. Like I love showing my recipes, my workouts throughout the day, if I clean the house, my outfits before we go somewhere. 
but I don't really pick up the camera when we're just like running to the beach like we did last night. I guess sometimes I just like keep things private, not even on purpose, but just because if I need it mentally to not focus on work or not vlog myself or look at myself in the camera and stuff like that. So yeah, today I was like, I'm just gonna bring you guys with me, but I'm actually gonna go jump in the ocean. I haven't done this in forever, so this is actually painting an unrealistic reality of my life, but it's Thursday morning. I have a bunch of work to get done today, like so much that it makes me feel very stressed because even though I mentioned at the beginning that I didn't have a lot of work to submit and like film, a lot of the end of the month is like doing the revisions and getting stuff up today and I just have a lot that's due by 12 and I've noticed that I felt really stressed so I woke up this morning, went to a really early spin class and now I'm going to go jump in the beach, now I'm going to go jump in the ocean before I start my day. I had a really great spin class this morning. And I'm super excited for the day today. We might grab a little coffee to pipe us up before the work day starts. I didn't get to share our dinner last night just because we were in a rush and my camera died, but I made egg roll in a bowl, which is super easy. You literally just roast onions on the stove with olive oil, ginger, and garlic. And then I added ground chicken, cabbage mix, which had carrots in it, and then, hi Coco, put some teriyaki sauce, heated up some rice, and that's literally it. It's really, really good too as leftovers, so thought I would share it because that's what we're having for lunch right now.